masayang mag-aral ng sensya with Sir Alvin Miranda. Wow, which is called hard, which is called Good day learners. Welcome back to my class. For this video, we are going to talk about speed and velocity. For our most essential learning competency, you should be able to describe the motion of an object in terms of distance or displacement, speed or velocity, and acceleration. Are you ready to learn? Let's go! Have you ever wondered why different objects travel the same distance but they take different amount of time? This is because some objects are traveling faster or slower than the other. Aside from finding out how far did the object travel, we can also describe motion by finding out how fast did the object move from its initial position to its final position. This information can be provided by finding the object's speed and velocity. Let us first talk about speed. Speed refers to how far an object moves in a given time interval. It gives us an idea on how fast an object can cover a distance in a given amount of time. It indicates how fast an object is moving without referring to the direction of motion. Since no direction is involved, speed is a scalar quantity. Observe the speed of the two cars. Which do you think will cover a greater distance in the same amount of time? The one which is moving faster or the one moving slower? Correct! A fast-moving object has a high speed and covers a relatively large distance in a short amount of time, while a slow-moving object has a slow speed and covers a relatively small amount of distance in the same amount of time. An object with no movement at all has a zero speed. Speed can be measured by dividing the distance covered by the time traveled. It can be represented by the formula speed is equal to distance over time. The SI unit for speed is meter per second. Other units include kilometers per hour and miles per hour. Let us try this problem. Nayon went running at a distance of 120 meters in 30 seconds. What was Nayon's average speed? To solve this problem, we need to list down the given data. The given are meters for distance and 30 seconds for time. What is asked is the average speed of Nayon. To compute for the average speed, we will use the formula speed is equal to distance over time. Now, let us substitute the given data to the formula. Speed is equal to the value of distance which is 120 meters divided by the value of time which is 30 seconds. Solving this, we have 4 meters per second. Therefore, Nayon's average speed was 4 meters per second. This means that Nayon can cover 4 meters in every second. In the problem, we are asked to compute for the average speed and not just speed alone. But why average speed? It is average speed because it represents the speed of the object throughout its travel. During her entire travel, there were instants that her speed varied. Her speed at an instant is called instantaneous speed. Instantaneous speed refers to the speed of the object at a particular instant. Example, what is the instantaneous speed of Nayon at 5 seconds? Correct, it is 4 meters per second. The instantaneous speed can be equal, greater than, or less than the average speed. Observe the instantaneous speed of Nayon. What can you observe? Correct, they are always the same. 
When the object's instantaneous speed values are always the same, then it means that the object is moving with a constant speed. We refer this as a constant motion. Where will you be and what time will you reach your destination can easily be predicted if you move at a constant speed or velocity. Are you familiar with the speedometer? A speedometer is a device used to measure the instantaneous speed of a vehicle. A speedometer is important to drivers because they need to know how fast they are going so they know if they are driving beyond the speed limit or not. The general speed limit in the Philippines is 60 km per hour on most highways and 100 km per hour is the maximum in most expressways. In describing the motion of an object, we do not just describe how fast the object moves. We also consider the direction to where it is going. Speed with direction is referred as velocity. Velocity gives us an idea on how fast an object is moving and to which direction. Velocity is a vector quantity. It refers to the rate of change in displacement. Velocity uses the concept of displacement rather than the distance traveled and time. It can be represented by the formula Velocity is equal to displacement over time. Speed and velocity have the same unit. However, velocity requires direction. Let us try this problem. What is the runner's average velocity if his position changes from 15 meters east to 40 meters east during a 3 second time interval? Again, to solve this problem, we need to list down the given data. The given R, 15 meters east as the initial position, 40 meters east as the final position, and 3 seconds as the time. What is asked is the average velocity. The formula to be used is velocity is equal to displacement over time. Let us first get the value for displacement. To get this, we will subtract the final position which is 40 meters east and the initial position which is 15 meters east. Therefore, the displacement is 25 meters east. Now, let's substitute the given. Velocity is equal to the value of displacement which is 25 meters east divided by the value of time, which is 3 seconds. Thus, the average velocity of the runner is 8.33 meter per second east. Just like speed of an object, the velocity of an object can also change in a particular instant, and that is called instantaneous velocity. If the velocity is the same all throughout, it is called constant velocity. Let us summarize the difference between speed and velocity using this table. 